Let's bring in Florida State Attorney General Ashley Moody. It's great to see you again. You're suing the Biden administration. Why? Absolutely. The Biden administration has implemented reckless policies when it comes to immigration, starting with canceling Operation Talon, which was a targeted operation to go after sex offenders in our country illegally. Now they've come out with a policy that they're not going to arrest all serious criminal offenders and deport them. I have sheriffs around my state calling, we have got to go after this in court. We are having to release people back into the communities that are going to wreak havoc. And we're not talking about trivial crimes. We're talking about burglars, people breaking into people's homes, deadly drug traffickers. And, and under the Biden administration, they're just wanting us to release them back into our states. So we've got to hold them accountable in court. So the Biden team and the White House press secretary is saying that they inherited a broken system at the border and that their policies are more humane than Trump's. What do you say to that? That is absolutely untrue. You can say all you want for people not to come trying to ward off a crisis, but their written policies give no ability to law enforcement to do their jobs. This is what they're begging for from this administration. And this does not just affect border states. This safety uh, non-existent policy will trickle down into states across our country. When it comes to the security of our state, you have to have clear, consistent, bold, decisive leadership, not an ostrich that sticks its head in the sand and says there is no crisis. This is unacceptable. It puts our, our states in jeopardy, and we have to. I think you'll see attorneys general from across the nation reaching out, holding uh, this administration accountable to do its job that's mandated by federal yeah. law. OK, this is hard for maybe Democrats and, and certain parts of the population to grasp and understand. We see unmarked graves around the border of illegal border crossers who are trying to cross who were killed by human smugglers and drug traffickers. We see assaults on these illegal border crossers. They're going the same routes that the drug traffickers and the human traffickers are following, and they're victimized. They're targeted. When you do it illegally, you are setting yourself up for crime. Eighty percent of those who cross are paying uh, estimated are paying human smugglers. And if you don't pay up, you become recruited into a drug gang or into a, a, a criminal gang. It's can you break this down? Because it's unclear if people understand why this is a humanitarian crisis and why it's so dangerous to try to cross illegally. Can you explain it? This is a crisis because when you have a leader that will not come out and say, we are not going to ac accept illegal activity, we are going to uphold the law and follow our laws, criminal organization, and that includes trafficking organizations focusing on deadly drugs like fentanyl, human trafficking organizations, they are sophisticated. From day one of this administration, they have ramped up activities, they are charging money, astronomical sums. To, to bring people across the border. This increases crime, and it is not just at the border. This will flow into our states around this country. And that is why we need an administration that will follow the will of Congress and do their job. This is not just some, you know, suggestion that they follow immigration laws and deport criminals. This is mandated by federal law. They're thumbing their nose at the law. They're pretending no crisis is existing. And that's not good leadership. That's yeah. not good policy. And we deserve better as Americans. So you're going to tell us, are more attorneys general going to join you in suing the Biden administration? We have about 12 to 14 right now. Is this going to increase? As attorney general, my number one priority is to protect Floridians. I know that other attorneys general feel this way about their states. If there is a detrimental policy, if they believe their citizens are in danger, they're going to stand up, speak out, and hold this administration accountable okay. in court. That's what we're doing Thank in Florida, Th and we'll keep doing it. Gotcha. Florida Attorney General Ashley Moody, thanks for joining us. It's good to see you. Come back soon. You too.